Westmoreland Community Connections is a presentation of Citizens Fiber. Welcome to Westmoreland Community Connections, a look at issues and happenings on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. Here now is your host, Jennifer Mealy, Chief Communications Officer and Managing Director of Evangelization of the Diocese of Greensburg. Thanks so much for joining us this morning and welcome to WHJB Community Connections. I'm your host, Jennifer Mealy. Very excited to be with you today. Our first show together is with Roseanne Barry Novotnik, president of the Norwin Chamber of Commerce. And she's here to talk about Light Up Norwin, one of my favorite events of the year in Norwin. Very excited to have you, Roseanne. So let's first start by talking about you. How did you end up as president of the Norwin Chamber? Good morning. Thank you so much for having me today. I was actually a member whenever I owned my own business, and then I closed my business to be a stay-at-home mom. That lasted all of six weeks when Jim Duffy, <laughs> chairperson of the board, said to me, you know, you really could help out. And I said, okay, how about if I just help out till Christmas? And then my husband said to me, you seem to really like it. Why don't you give Jim your resume and see if they'll keep you? Well, that was 15 years ago, and I'm still here. So. God bless you. And your daughter now is how old? She is 21 and a half. She's in her third year at Penn State's Erie Campus, Barron. And she was actually in second grade whenever I started at the chamber 15 years ago. So boy, how time flies. I can remember her at many chamber events, and she has a great personality just like you do. Oh, and she also you. has a great energy just like you do. And that's what you bring to the Norwin Chamber. And I think the events that are happening there are certainly worth people hearing about, especially the upcoming Light Up Norwin event. So this is not your first year doing it. This is will actually be your number four, correct? Actually, our third. A third. Our, okay. our third year doing it. And that's kind of how I inherited it. The Erwin Business Professional Association, IBPA, has always done this event. They're an all-volunteer organization, and they're people running their own businesses. They were just so overwhelmed and so busy with it, and there were just a few people that handled this event because it came right between Ladies' Night and the Cookie Tour because, like you said, there's always something going on in Irwin. So when Light Up, it was actually Light Up Night at that time, was going to go by the wayside, I said, I'm too old, too fat, too tired to no. do this on my own, but I know everyone. Why can't we make it a community unity project? And if everyone does a little piece of the pie, we could get this done in no time at all. And fortunately for us, that's exactly how this happened. We have a huge number of helpers, volunteers, and support staff in this event, which makes it all so much easier on all of us when everyone takes a turn. And Light Up Norwin is coming up this Thursday, November 19th. Roseanne, why don't you tell us some of the details? The Lamp Theater will be open. They're hoping to have a miniature train display on the stage where visitors can walk through and see the train display. And then on the Harper Family Courtyard, they're hoping to run a movie in a continuous loop. I don't know what that movie is. We're still waiting on those details. Everything is free. However, donations are always welcome. Those 501c3s are always looking for your charitable contributions. We have food trucks all over Irwin. Again, trying to socially distance everyone so that there are no large gatherings of crowds. We will have food trucks on 4th Street and 5th Street, again, spreading everyone out. At 620, we'll have the tree lighting by Norman Rotary President Cheryl Campbell. Then at 630, we'll have the parade led by everyone's favorite big guy, Santa. How exciting. We're hoping to have this as a live Facebook event. So if you don't feel comfortable coming into Irwin, you certainly can sit in the confines of your comfy home and watch it on Facebook. We hope. That's our plan. You know how we make plans and then other things happen. But we're trying to broadcast it on Facebook. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea, especially for those who want to join in but don't feel comfortable coming in to downtown Irwin. Although I think with the plan to space everyone out and if people wear their face masks, then hopefully COVID will not get in the way of a wonderful event, Light Up Norwin. And none of this would be possible, I think, without your sponsors. Is that right? That is. But before I go on to sponsors, I just want to highlight a really important change. This year's shuttle bus parking will be at Calvary Church. The shuttle bus will run for free from Calvary Church on Pennsylvania Avenue from 5 until 9. And anyone wishing to be in the parade can contact Gary Ed. And I would love to give you his phone number. It's 724 864 
four three eight four zero. And again, the shuttle buses are from Calvary Church on Pennsylvania Avenue. You mentioned our gracious sponsors. We're so lucky to have them. Of course, this event is sponsored by the Rotary Club of Norwin and s and Bank. Additional sponsors are Somerset Trust Company, the Duncan Financial Group, Kenny Ross, Next Tier, C. Harper Auto Group, Colonial Grill and Tap Room, Commercial Bank and Trust of PA, the Davis Financial Group, First United Methodist Church of Irwin, and New Crescent Brewing Company. That's a load of sponsors there. You're very blessed to have that many people supporting this event. Light Up Norwin coming up very quickly, just four days away, hoping for nice weather and a great turnout. So Santa is leading the parade this year. Who else can we expect to see in the parade? Do you have any names coming up? I don't. I'm not privileged to have that information. That's one of the things about having a community unity project. Everyone takes care of their own little section so that there are still some prizes, some surprises for those of us that are planning things. But as you mentioned, the weather is the most important thing that we can really count on. So all the prayers are welcome for a v- very nice evening. I think it's going to be great. Uh, lots of volunteers, lots of volunteer organizations helping out with this event. And everyone in Norwin should feel welcome to come. You talk about community unity, and I just want to pause on that for just one moment because it's very clear this isn't just about Irwin, is it? Oh, no. We have a lot of Norwin community organizations involved in this. As I mentioned, it is a community unity project. The Rotary Club of Norwin, the Norwin Chamber of Commerce, Calvary Church, IBPA, as I mentioned, the Irwin Business Professional Association. We couldn't do this without the Borough of Irwin and all their support. That includes the administration offices, the police, the fire department, EMS, and our dear, dear friends at Public Works. We have the Rotary Club of Irwin who will light the additional lights on Main Street as we plug in the tree the Norwin Lions, first student who's gracious enough to donate our buses, again running from Calvary Church, Norwin Play It Forward Fund, Sunbelt Rentals, William Snyder Funeral Home, Immaculate Conception Church, Stone & Company, Main Street Music & Sound, Affordable Marketing and Entertainment Network, And I have to give a huge special thanks. Anyone who's seen the beautiful posters done for us by Metal Photo will notice the Christmas tree in the left-hand corner. Those photos were taken by Carl Stilitano of CPS Photography, and he makes our beautiful Christmas tree look even better. We're so great. We're so blessed to have Carl in our community. You're listening to WHJB's Community Connection Show. I'm your host, Jennifer Mealy. Very happy to be here today with Roseanne Barry Novotnik, president of the Norwin Chamber of Commerce. And she's talking to us today about Light Up Norwin, which is just around the corner, four days away on Thursday, November 19th, starting at five o'clock in downtown Irwin, including the entire Norwin community. Roseanne was just talking about the miniature train display at the Lamp Theater. Uh, Outside in the Harper Family Courtyard, we'll see a movie on a loop, which is great. And then, of course, we're going to have a big parade through downtown Irwin. And I'm really excited about all of the volunteerism, all of the work that has gone into this. It's been fantastic. And so the community can expect a whole lot of fun to come out. We are trying to keep this as traditional as we have, as we possibly can. You did mention the CDC guidelines. We are asking people to mask up and of course, socially distance. And another thing is it's the same event. It just has a new name. So keep in mind that it is Light Up Norwin as we move forward. I think that's important for people to remember. And there's an interesting reason why that is, right? The name Light Up Night is actually copywritten. So we decided that we would make it our own. And we felt that Light Up Norwin was more encompassing with the community unity event that we were trying to hold. I think it's really important, though, that the event is going on because certainly COVID-19 has impacted so much in the Norwin community. And just around the world. But yes, we get notification every day of another event that's canceled. And we trust in the people of Norwin to do the right thing with the social distancing, with the masking up. And of course, as soon as you get home, wash those hands. Of course, hand sanitization is available all the time, too. So just keep those CDC guidelines in mind and we will have a wonderful event. I think it will be wonderful. And, um, you know, you are president of the Chamber of Commerce in Norwin, which is a very large Chamber of Commerce. I can imagine 
how the operations even for the chamber has been impacted. You and I were emailing um, during the actual lockdown order of, you know, how do we renew memberships? How do we engage businesses, virtual talks, uh, virtual meetings, things like that. So I'm sure it's been a lot of evolution here over the last few months. It is. And of course, the day after Thanksgiving is Black Friday and the next day is Saturday is the shop local day. And that brings us to the point that keep in mind, you had mentioned all of our sponsors. Those sponsors are all local businesses that are supporting your community. So it's only fair that you reciprocate in supporting them. We need to keep these businesses strong. I'm very, very proud of the fact that we have no open storefronts in Irwin. As soon as something opens on Main Street, someone that has a shop on the side street is usually moving right into those storefront. So there are no vacant buildings in Irwin. And I think that that's something to be very proud of. And it leads to great security in our community. That is tremendous. You know, I grew up in 15642 my whole life. So I'm a big fan of Irwin, North Huntingdon, Penn Township community. And I'm very proud of Irwin as well. I have a lot of uh, personal connections to downtown Irwin. Um, We are parishioners at Immaculate Conception Church, the stone church on the corner. And my girls have danced for many years, as did I, I won't tell you how many years ago, at Janet's School of Dance in Irwin. And then through COVID, Janet's was negatively impacted, as you might imagine, how many businesses were negatively impacted. And they were not able to reopen after that. Fortunately, Erica's dance expressions moved in. They expanded their operations. They took in uh, those of us who were without a dance home, which is really wonderful. And I know having that vibrancy and making sure that there are no vacancies in downtown Irwin is something that we're really proud about, especially uh, with Dance Expressions by Erica. We're glad she was able to move in there and continue to participate in the Norwin community. Hello, my name is Erica Kamensky, and I'm the proud owner of Dance Expressions by Erica in downtown Irwin. We are currently in our 12th season. We offer three programs at DB, our Explore Preschool Program, our Express Recreational Program, and our Excel competition program. Classes we offer include ballet, jazz, tap, contemporary, hip hop, tumbling, point, and more. Each season, the families of Dance Expressions by Erica come together to give back to the community in a few different outreach programs during the months of November and December to set a good example for our children and show them the importance of giving back. Our first outreach, we partnered with a local school and church to donate food items for packed lunches. We currently have enough food donations to provide over 300 lunches to children in need. We will pack the lunches on November 21st and distribute them soon after. These opportunities provide such special moments for my students and I to share with each other. The joy it brings them is something I'm very proud of. We have such wonderful families at Dance Expressions. I'm very blessed to know them and to be a part of the Irwin community. It is truly one of a kind, and I am very grateful I get to share my passion for dance with so many amazing children and help them open their hearts to lend a helping hand to others in our area. This is Westmoreland Community Connections on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. If you have a suggestion for a topic or if your nonprofit organization would like to be featured on this program, call us during regular business hours at 724-216-1200. Westmoreland Community Connections is a presentation of Citizens Fiber. So here we are once again. Welcome to WHJB's Community Connection Show. My name is Jennifer Mealy. I'm your host today, and I'm here with Roseanne Barry Novotnik, and she is president of the Norwin Chamber of Commerce. She's been talking to us for many minutes now about Light Up Norwin, which is four days from now. That's Thursday, November 19th. 2020 and what a year certainly it has been very important that we shop local Um, several events have happened and continue will happen let's go over those let's start with uh, ladies night in downtown Irwin that was just a few weeks ago what a great night that was it was and actually I'm hoping for a perfect hat trick we had a gorgeous night in August for music in the streets We had a lovely night for ladies' night. Many people were sitting outside. Ladies were able to shop without jackets. It was a perfect night. So I'm hoping the third of our hat trick, of course, will be light up Norwin. That's going to be so fun. And you were talking about 
um, Light Up Norwin being able to give some exposure to people of the shops that are downtown so that when Thanksgiving comes and the next day, of course, shop local uh, coming up very quickly, that people will know to go downtown and shop locally and support those businesses, many of whom are sponsors for Light Up Norwin coming up. Uh, so many great shops downtown. I always enjoy it. And the restaurant scene, the restaurant scene, so impressive there now, for sure. It's been a wonderful experience, for sure. Um, we're going to talk about COVID-19 for just a minute. Uh, for those of you who are listening about Light Up Norwin and trying to decide if this is something that you would like your family to attend, I think it's important to understand how the organizers follow CDC guidelines for such an event. And one of the main ways that you do that is to spread it out. Yes. As a matter of fact, the tree, of course, is located on the corner of 4th and Main, or 3rd and Main. I'm sorry. I always do that. 3rd and Main. So we do have the tree lighting ceremony, but the buses are actually dropping you off at 6th Street. So don't feel that you need to come down to the tree at that point in order to watch the parade. You can stay anywhere along Main Street and have a beautiful view of the parade and, of course, Santa, all of the fire trucks and everyone else participating in the parade. If you don't feel comfortable at that time coming down to the tree and you still want to do your family photos, please keep in mind that we're tre keeping the Christmas tree lit 24-7. From that lighting of the tree at 620 on Thursday, November the 19th, that tree will not be unplugged or turned off or anything until the middle of January. So you can get those family photos anytime you want. You do not need to come down at that moment. Anytime. That parking lot's usually empty in the evenings. You can come in, do your family photos. And that leads me also to family photos with Santa. After Santa leaves the leads the parade, he will be in that third street lot with the Christmas tree and you'll be able to do your photos with Santa at that point. So we'll have Santa lead the parade and then he'll be in the parking lot for photos at that time. Wow, that sounds like a wonderful plan so that people can enjoy this the entire holiday season as they come out and shop through downtown Irwin. Uh, Roseanne Barry Novotnik is president of the Norwin Chamber of Commerce, and she's talking about Light Up Norwin right now, which is coming up on Thursday, November 19th, all kicking off at 5 o'clock with a tree lighting at 620 and then the big parade. Um, so like you said about the parade, so that goes all the way through Irwin. So you can pretty much be anywhere and see what's happening. You really can. It starts with the staging in the Immaculate Conception Church lot, then makes a left at the post office up Main Street in the 200 block, all the way down and ending in the park at the end of Pennsylvania Avenue in Irwin Park. So Irwin Park is where things finish up, but you don't necessarily have to park there or even head to downtown Irwin there is a shuttle bus coming from Calvary. Is that right? Yes, we were blessed to have four buses donated by first students, and they run in a continuous loop starting at 5 o'clock, ending at 9 o'clock, dropping you off at the corner of 6th Street and Main. It's free of charge, again, donated by first student. There will be parking officials at Calvary, parking cars up there for you. Just follow the people there with their guidance, and then board the bus and come right into Irwin. That's fantastic. You guys have it all wrapped up. Lots of organizations participating in this. Lots of organizations who are helping to make it a very successful event. What's your favorite part about this? Well, I'm a little prejudiced because mm -hmm. last year I was president of the Rotary Club of Norwin and I got to light the tree. And yes, I did practice several times before. I said to some of the guys, I don't want to be embarrassed. What if I don't do it right? They're like, you plug it in. I said, I know, but what if something goes wrong? I'll be mortified. <laughs> Everyone's chanting, light that tree, light that tree. So I was able to plug it in and it lit and it was, I actually, someone took a picture of me cheering and it, I have it on my phone. It was a great moment. But I'm excited this year for my girlfriend, Cheryl Campbell, president of the Rotary Club of Norman, to get to light that tree. But other than that, I have to say, of course, Santa. I'm still someone who just loves Santa. I try to be a good girl. I appreciate Santa and love all his treasures. So I like to see Santa leading that parade. That is so funny. I think that's great. I'm sure that was a little bit of a stressful moment with all eyes on you waiting to light that tree. But things went well last year. I know we were there. Our girls were there. We were there.